Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. Piper's on the table. And <laughs> this is Friday. I'm telling you this just in case because the cash plays basketball early Saturday morning, so we couldn't get you a video up until like two o'clock in the afternoon. And we know that you would be like, ah! <laughs> so it's Friday. Petunia's at the vet getting fixed, and I'm sad. So <laughs> his game starts at eight thirty in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> getting into school at eight o'clock is hard enough. Like getting them to play a basketball game at eight thirty. I don't know how that's gonna be. We'll see. Yeah, his first game last week, he did really good. He had two baskets and. <laughs> just five year olds playing yeah there's a lot of traveling but if they stopped it every time the kid traveled there would be no oh, yeah. well game. there was like people that because of the song she put on instagram they were he's got no chance in the nba <laughs> take that kid out now and there's Hunter said it's not the stuff. song it's because it was a reel he said people are ruthless on reels um, they, they were just like the ripping things that they were saying. Like, so i had to five. turn off comments for the first time ever on one of my posts my heart hurt but he <laughs> did so good he made two baskets and you know he walked down i thought he was gonna do the gritty when he made a basket um and his defense was so cute. Like his arms. First it started out like this, but then towards the end of the game he got tired. So it was just, it was, just this. It was really cute. I invited Hunter and I'm like, you can come. I don't know that it's his sport. Because at practice he's like, he's okay. Um, but he really got into it at the game. So it was fun. I got yelled at for yelling too loud. Um, what else did we do this week? Went to Cracker Barrel. Oh yeah, we went to Cracker Barrel yesterday. We had to meet to pick up stitching, and I said, "Do you want to do lunch?" And <laughs> he opened. She up wanted to go to Olive Garden, and I was like, oh, I, "I feel like I've salad. just been eating pasta for the like the nine thousand years." So he opened up the. I brought the biscuits home, the to go container. You didn't give me the pancakes. <laughs> I told, I told you. To order you. Food. I knew it. You didn't give me the rainbow pan. I'm like, no, no, sorry, I got you a biscuit. Okay, fine. <laughs> got you a biscuit. Did he eat the cookies? Yeah. Oh, that's her god. Mine are gone too. I gave them to the other grandsons. I went and watched the other grandson play basketball last night, the older one, and he did really good. Their team won by like 30 to 6 or something. It was <laughs> a landslide. Yeah. We had really icy conditions uh, one day this week. What was it, Monday or Tuesday? I think Tuesday. So I called a snow day for cash. Yeah, all Every the other school around here were closed. So I didn't have the baby this week because her school got, my daughter-in-law's school got closed. And so uh, Hunter and I did go to, uh, after the basketball game, we went to a, a state sale here in our neighborhood and she was a cross stitcher. There was bins of floss and um, fabric. I did not buy any of that, but I did find one thing that was really cute and it didn't have a price on it. And when I brought it to them, they said, that's a dollar. But isn't that cute? Very cute. They only had one. It looks old. Yes, they only had one. <laughs> this is like a weapon, so don't be mean. <laughs> isn't it cute? Does I'm it look pregnant. old? Yeah, it looks old. It you does. are? Yes, oh. I am. Pregnant. <laughs> I called my doctor in with some concerns this week. And oh, Lord. She stresses me out. <laughs> she said, just take some Tums. And I about I about flipped out. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I try to be respectful and everything. But with all the situations we've had with Cash and then Matt was sick once and we had to go back and forth to the doctor for somebody to listen to us. Like, it everything every symptom you say like oh i have really bad rib pain up here shortness of and it, oh yeah that's you're just pregnant yeah that's <laughs> that's just pregnant okay it feels like the baby's leg is falling out of me yep you're just <laughs> pregnant like, anything you say oh it is so frustrating and i know some people can relate so that's why i'm telling you <laughs> i'm fine my blood pressure is low so we're not gonna worry about it i'm gonna go in for blood work next week but everything you say Everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we had some questions from last week. And we have a really exciting things because we're going to show you our new releases for February. So a Piper's really excited about hers. And <laughs> we can't wait to show them to you. Would you ever consider a pet memorial design? I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard one. Maybe. Yeah, we definitely know how that can mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just passed 
Ronnie's painting going up the stairs and, you know, with having the dog at the vet. It's just like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. She's awake right now. Um, I bought stainless steel washers to attach my stitching to a magnetic bar and the washers did not stick. How do you use washers to hold your stitcheries? We usually use zinc yes. washers. I think that they, the stainless steel ones aren't magnetic, maybe? But a stainless steel refrigerator is, isn't it? I don't know, but the best thing to do is stick a magnet in your pocket, go or in your purse, go in the store and stick it on the washers and whichever one it sticks to, that's the one you buy. Yes. Oh, thank you for all the comments about my hair last week. There was like a hundred of them. <laughs> if you see my hair like that, that means I didn't want to wash it for a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> With this, So normally I have to wash my hair every single day or else it looks like I put mayonnaise in it. With this baby, I've been able, I mean, my hair isn't getting greasy or anything, and it's, like, fabulous. Well, it's probably because it's so dry outside. It's I still like shower. I still shower, but I just don't have to wash my hair every day, and I don't know why that feeling is so good. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something like, now I can use that time to dry under my boob. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> um, welcome, Citri. I... Uh, that was their shop and she wanted to know if we knew their earlier days in Illinois. Yes, we used, yes, to, go we there. used to go there. Um, and then this person bought it out, but yes, we used to go there in mm -hmm. Crystal Lake. Mm -hmm. Okay. I used to get Priscilla's blog, but no more. How do, how can I subscribe? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. There used to be like blogger used to send, and I think that they might still do it, but there's probably a box somewhere on my blog that would say subscribe and you put your email address in there and it'll send it to you. Not that. sure. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, on the coming soon page, we both posted it on our Instagram and Kimberly showed it on her, oh, uh, yeah. her floss tube. We have the new Yeti. Yeti coming. It's white. You can see all the details on it on uh, fabricshop.com. Yep. Yes. Really spiffy looking. Yes. <laughs> We're very excited for it. Have you guys considered doing stand-up comedy? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Oh, she also said go Chiefs in her comment. Yeah. We, we like to sit down more. Yeah. <laughs> um, we love the Chiefs game with Jason. The, the brother and the... <laughs> and we love Jason. Yeah. That's what we love. We love Jason. Jumping out of the... I know you're not supposed to do that and everything, but... It, him in the pre-gaming at the tailgate party. It's, it's so just, funny, though, funny. in some of the pictures. Like, most of it you didn't realize, but there's security all around mm -hmm. that. Yep. Yeah, he just seems very, very normal. Uh, we listened to their podcast. I couldn't tell you why. I know nothing about football. Um, <laughs> I learned about the... In one of the episodes, I learned about the hiking thing and what it means on one. Did you learn that, too? <laughs> I learned that, so... I'm going to learn everything about basketball, too. Travel, double dribble. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Fabric for Cottontail. We'll show Cottontail in a minute. But mm -hmm. colors evening blue, but what was the fabric name and count? We dye Monaco. our own. Yeah. So 28 count white Monaco that she dyed with evening blue. It's probably that piece you did on the video, isn't it? Could be. We have videos on how to do it. Or you can find similar fabrics at all the cross stitch shops too, if you're not into dyeing. But yeah. dyeing is easy, and that's how we get all the different colors of fabric that and we use. And if you use. stitch on Ada, you could also dye Ada. You can do linen. We're just not as experienced with it. Mm -hmm. I don't have a Facebook. Can I still participate in the giveaway? Uh, not in the giveaways that we do on our Facebook page, but you can yes. it, uh, participate in all of these giveaways. And yes. I have suggested to people who don't have a Facebook because they don't want any of that to just make an account just to be in our group. And, you know, like you don't ask for people to be friends with you. It's just your account to participate in the Stitching with Housewives group. Have you seen the cute pink heart mugs at Walmart in their dollar spot? I have not been to Walmart, and I need to go because she wants one of those heart-shaped cutting boards, and God forbid she go to Walmart, so. <laughs> They're not a chance. She told me yesterday, she's like, I'm going to take cash, shoe shopping, and I'm going to go to dinner. And I, I text her, and I'm like, I, you know, how did it go? And she said, like, you think I left my house? <laughs> I was like, you know I didn't leave my house. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. I went upstairs when I got home, and I was like, well, sweatpants it is. <laughs> put my sweatpants on, and I was like, mm. he didn't ask about it. So if he had asked about it, I would have said, okay, let's go. 
he didn't ask about it. He was perfectly content. We took out some of our drop ceiling instead. Uh, so I found some shoes that somebody had given him to that work because they're tie up. That was mom's thing. He needs shoes that have laces that tie up. The kid can't tie his shoes, nor can anybody apparently because you cannot find his size with shoes that tie up. And then he needed ankle support, according to Hunter. I tried ordering them online, and I got screamed at by Hunter. I'll just take the kids shopping. And I was like, I can do it. It's fine. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, it's kindergarten. It's ki like, literally, somebody well, takes you don't want him to look like a scrub. And you don't want him to get a broken leg, so he can't play. And, you know, so like, it's just, stuff. like, throw the ball up, and it comes straight back down and hits him on the head. Like, it's not that serious. But oh, there was one kid so funny that was, like, they... Michael Jordan on the other team last yeah. week. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we're going to just lose. And he was making, like, three-pointers. You know, I do a little half court, but he was swishing three-quarters, or three-pointers, and I was like, oh. Cash's okay. team won, though. They, they had more points they don't keep score we don't keep score <laughs> cash keeps scoring <laughs> yeah he's like so do i get dollars this other kid on my team says he gets dollars for every <laughs> I was like, Ugh. um will there be a reswap for i don't think there'll be a reswap for we have plans to do um just pdfs of specific charts that we want to put mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the wreaths and you know, at once, there wouldn't be a collective amount that we have to put in a full chart, yes. but, you know. We'll never know. Yeah, right I, now, yeah. right now, I'm saying no, or she's saying no, but you never know. But there will be additional ones. We have a few still that we yes. need to do. Yes. Since you need to do like a Mother's Day, Father's Day type thing. Yeah. We had a bunch. Well, and a I camping. don't need to, but we had a camper, didn't we? No. No. We had an extra July for people that didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we have a bunch. Yes, we have a list. We have a list. And if you have any that you desperately need, you put them in there so we can add them to our yes. list. Add a comment of what you would like. I'm out of toilet paper. So. You're not getting any toilet paper. My God. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm hiding it. <laughs> the soft stuff feels better. They, uh, <laughs> you order stuff all the time. All order the time. it. Order it. All the time. Order. Um, okay. I was wondering oh. if, if a roundabout would fit on the hook. On that. Yep. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what to say? Okay. Um, also want to say again. I have put the numbers for the family chart in the file section of our Facebook if you missed that last week, um, because a lot of you are just now getting your charts. So again, it's mm -hmm. there. I did a reprint. So going forward, people will have the right chart, but you know. Have you both started seed shopping and planning? God, yes. God, yeah, I yes. I got my box yesterday. And then I think, well, the time that I'm gonna need to start planting outside, be giving birth so i don't know we don't plant until the middle of may yeah you'll be fine <sighs> but yes we both bought a lot of seeds oh johnny's had a uh, free shipping for over 200 bucks <laughs> <laughs> uh okay i think yeah that's all i have for this week <laughs> <laughs> we should just combine our orders I got a really cute gift from Nancy. She made. Oh, we're doing gifts first. She made the underwear. I just want to move it so it doesn't get wrecked. The I'll underwear that Chelsea wore at the last retreat. And my Cash's Grinch. Um, yes, and one of one of my really pretty Christmas quilts. This is um, Lori Mitchell, and it's so cute. It's like a little Presley or Piper or not Piper, Petunia. Adorable. Thank you so much, Nancy. It's very cute. Okay, and, and I'm gonna stick her right back there so she doesn't get knocked. I got something too. Uh, this is from Beth, and she sent the cutest little things ever for baby Zinnia. Look at this. Oh, that must go with those and then little pants. These little bloomies, I think, go with it, right? Yeah, that's cute. Oh no, this has bloomies. Oh. Well, it is super cute. Okay, and then this. These little bloomers with the ruffles, and it has like little, is it eyelets, right? Mm -hmm. Eyelets, and then 
Look at it. The little. So cute. Oh, we went somewhere on. Yeah, we went to Cheesecake Factory and we went to oh, the farmer's market. We went to the farmer's market, yes. All my greens are gone. I ate the last of them at 2 a.m. Yeah, she bought some microgreens and she was sitting there eating them on the way. <laughs> and then we get into Cheesecake Factory and I have them in my hair. <laughs> Um, and look at this little bonnet. This went with this first one. Super, super cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. The microgreens are so good. It was cress, arugula, and dill. And made a little mozzarella salad. Oh, oh, we oh, we got the beet salad at Cheesecake Factory, mm -hmm. and that was really good. It had little orange slices and like a yogurty honey dressing. Vinaigrette dressing thing. So I bought beets from Costco and then gonna try to duplicate it okay that was oh this is a gift from mom look at it she's gonna be such a cute little oh my goodness oh my goodness I can't wait I mean I can wait I you wait I can wait I also found her a cup oh I so <laughs> All of you can stop. <laughs> <laughs> she was there the other day, too. Ooh! I got to calm. She asked me if I wanted the one that said relax. And I said, <laughs> that's what she needs. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm in that rage mode right now where you just, like, have to clean everything. Like, my baseboards. Right, so I'm going to lock you in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> my you. baseboards in my bathroom cannot look like, because there's, like, some spots that aren't painted. I'm like, I can't bring a baby in here. What if she thinks that we're, like, absolutely just dirt rotten because we have ugly baseboards? Oh my my husband thinks I'm sick of it. Okay. I was at Hobby Lobby, and. You got this for yourself, right? Yeah, those are mine. you already bought this for me. Yes. Okay. All right. I bought them at the same time. I gave them to you for Christmas. See, I gave her cups for Christmas. I did get cups for Christmas. This one has two pigs on the front, and it says hogs and kisses. <laughs> one of my favorites. I love you. You. And then this one. I like that one, too. Yeah, she got all three of them Cash likes Christmas. to drink out of the pig one. Cash and I have tea in the morning. So this is like a heart-shaped wood bowl from Hobby Lobby. Isn't that cute? It was pretty cheap, right? $13.99. Yeah, and they're 40% off. But I thought that it looks so cute with like the roundabouts in it if you don't have a Valentine tree. Yeah. Or even if you do and you want to take a couple of them off. But these were from the last time. Where, where are these from? Oh, dang. Um, Hobby Lobby. I loved all the Etsy stuff upstairs. So you want to stop it so I can run out and get it? I can't believe you. <laughs> so this week in the Etsy shop, that was first, right? Love you more. Love notes. And these are all done with the wood bead wreaths from Hobby Lobby that they sell at Christmas time. Key to my heart. Okay, and then this one, there's no wood bead wreath. It's three pieces of sticky board, two of the bigger ones and one of the small the ones. The round. Yes. So you can make your own ornament. You don't have to put the beading in there if you don't want it as big. Uh, Love is in the air. That one came this week. And then we'll have one more next yes. week. With the bonus. Yes. Chelsea's checks. Again, this fa this fabric was dyed by yours truly. Look how well it matches. I just followed the steps perfectly. Got it all dyed. And then she's like, and I'm going to add another cap full of pink. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was Be Mine. No, Valentine House. This is the Valentine House. These are sassy strippers. Two inches by four and a half inches, I believe. So this is Be Love. Somebody did this on um, Tea Coffee Dyed too. So I usually cut my sticky boards at three by five inches for the backings. And this time I did three by six. And... Just for fun or... No, I just thought that it needed a little bit of extra. So I don't know how big you all are cutting them, if you're even doing them as ornaments or if you're sticking them on something else. Okay, so then be sweet with the tiered tray. And this is the last one in this Valentine series, and it also came with a bonus chart. Be my honey. 
and he's sitting on the scale. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are all done with the white, with the red ticking, stitching with housewife stripes. Stitching. Stitching stripes. Yep. Um, these, there was one done with the, the Priscilla's polkas in red and white. And then uh, Chelsea's checks in red and white for but two of them. I did them the back with the polka dots on the one. And then this one was the black and white Chelsea's checks. Okay. All right, and then I brought in some previous finishes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? XOXO. Okay. And that finishing piece came from Walmart a couple of years ago. Look, it could be Thor and Jolene. Leany beanie, because she's got white on her. This is Love You to the Moon and Back, and I think that that piece also came from Hobby Lobby. Or it's like a Walmart. Walmart. It came from Walmart. Yeah, you're right. Unfinished section. Looks like you painted it. Uh-uh, I didn't. You painted them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She painted it. It was unfinished section, so they probably still have these. Oh. That was a dapper doodad. Okay. So are you, were you ready to show them? Oh, I did get this too, and I wanted to show you. I saw this and I thought it was really cute. It's like a wicker bunny, but it's made out of like plastic wicker, but it's really done. It says happy spring. Super cute. I, I like don't the care color. so much about this, the sign. Like I just wanted to stick in a bowl or something. I like the color. But I thought it was really cute. So this was from Home Goods. if you're... When are you taking your winter stuff down? I've already started. <laughs> She's like, I've decided that every day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do one room. So yesterday I asked her what day room she did. I didn't. <laughs> Today I asked her what room she didn't. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take the dog to the vet. I was like, oh, Okay, right. well, I didn't go take him shoe shopping into dinner. He had dinner. We just didn't go out to eat. I saved money. Now it's like when you take them in there, before it used to be, we go to this like country vet that's oh. like, the, the very building, economical the building hasn't been updated since like 1950 and the front room doesn't smell like urine anymore so <laughs> that's good <laughs> they're very nice doctors we we've known the doctors for all of our pets they're very nice people very compassionate about pet. i mean when he told me layla's diagnosis he was crying with me so they're very compassionate people and very good at what they do it's just so they're like to, to give you an idea, Ronnie had hip surgery. Her hip bone was not right when she was like six months old. She couldn't even walk. So I took her to a couple places and it was going to be, what was it, like eight or $10,000 or something? And that was a long time ago because, you know, she's old. And we were like, uh, wow. But I think that I paid them like 1400 No, it was like. Three or four hundred. Oh, yeah, it's it's really really economical. They took her bone out and like shaved it, shaved it down because it was like shattered on the end, and then just put it back in, and the ligaments held it, and she was fine. Yeah, she would run like mm -hmm. nobody's business. Yep. So I anyway, mean, even when she was old, she would walk around. But they don't farm. they don't take appointments. You have to go and sit there and wait. And now they don't let you in the building. Although Thank when God. you're dropping off pets, you can go in the building. Yeah, but you used to have to. So we had two benches <laughs> and like two feet facing each other. So all the animals are sitting there looking at each other. Yeah. And, you know, I got the bad dogs. And, the, <laughs> and then these big dogs are trying to sniff and they're, then they're in your crap. Just everywhere. And it was very stressful. But since COVID, they don't let you in the building anymore. They You have to put your, you sign up at a list and then they... Um, call you on your cell phone and tell you when to bring them in. But, like but for when, surgeries. Right. Then you have a set time to drop off. But like when I took Petunia the last time, I sat in my car for over two hours. It's a good stitching opportunity. But it's better it than sitting in that dark, room. So no, it was not a good stitching opportunity. Right on. Anyway, that that's where we go to the vet. So, <laughs> But this morning she's like, so do you want the whole blood panel that we can see if there's anything wrong with her liver or heart? And I'm like... I guess. They always ask you that. Oh, I don't remember all that. Because oh, yeah. our Presley was just there last year, and I don't remember that. Oh, and do you want us to do an x-ray so we can see if there's anything? I'm like, sure, sure. They sure. didn't do the blood work at her last appointment? No. Because she's a puppy. 
Oh. She said we don't even have to do the blood work because she's a new puppy. Yeah, before they did anything surgery wise, like even teeth, they would take the blood and then the next appointment, and then they'd ask you again, do you want the blood? All right, so I am working on the next monthly weigh in. It's gonna be so cute. Can't wait. I think next week I'm gonna get all the monthly weigh-ins out and show them one month at a time because I think it's a parade. Right. Yeah. Also, we'll show you. Oh, this one. I didn't show this one. This is another vintage one. Be my Valentine. Wasn't this stitched twice? I don't think so. You didn't stitch it on blue. I thought I remember. Oh, I did. I feel like you did. Well, be my Valentine. I know I finished it differently on the top. Oh, maybe that's it. I but feel like when we go to market, we always have two of those. We didn't even take our Valentine stuff last year. We couldn't fit it. We left it home. Oh, because we had just done Valentine's. Yep. Okay. All right. So we have three new releases for... I'll save Piper's for last. But this is March's monthly weigh-in. So this is already released. This is yes. not the new release. This is for the first week of February. This is April. And it doesn't look too Eastery. They just look really springy. So that when Easter is in March or Easter is in April, either one of them will do. So we'll show you the small for the April. I think it's so cute. Oh, that's straight. Mm -hmm. And there is the big piece. I'm going to take it off there to show it. We lost some chocolate magazine. bunnies. Super cute. We lost some magazine. Yeah, it's on there. There's a bowl with the bunnies. There's bunnies holding a pedestal with another bunny on top. The flowers down below. It's the colors are just really pretty. It's really yep. springy. That like aqua -y is lettuce leaf and it's super, super pretty. They want to know about what happened with that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. Like the worst thing ever. It wasn't the worst thing. The worst thing would be you having to rip out the whole thing. Well, I usually do that too. So, all right. And then we've done three seasons of the, I got a stem sticking out the back. Three seasons of the Welcome Home. We did Welcome Home Summer. That was at market last year. We've done Welcome Home. Fall, and, Fall welcome home winter. and winter, and this is the welcome home spring. We've had the questions of where is it? Where is it? But there it is. And this is the one I talked about last week that the flowers were like so expensive. But I did buy all of those at Hobby Lobby, and I think that they look really pretty in there. I also got this pink ribbon at Hobby Lobby, and then I used some of our ribbon in the front. But it's got purple for all of you, purples. Purplers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not really purple, but like a... It's purple. Violet. Lavender, violet. Yeah. A, a pink house. More aqua. The bird Just houses all are the, so cute. The really pretty colors. Little bluebirds all over. So there you go. That's Welcome Home Spring. I love that series. Is it done? Hmm? Is it done? Yeah, there's four. Well, I was just wondering. Oh, do you want to do the Christmas and stuff? No, I was just wondering. All right, do we want to show this like this or should we take it off? No, take it off. I'm going to show it like this and then I'll take it off. Okay. So this is an old piece of fence that I got at a flea market. I bought a wreath at Hobby Lobby. It comes with all this except for the carrots. This is another piece from Hobby Lobby and all of that info is on the back of the chart. Yes, I fixed it. Yep. Okay. 
I called it a garland. It's a wreath. Um, but it's a wood piece. That white part that she's going to show you is the wood piece that you place the stitching on. And then she just was able to wrap the wreath around it. So what somehow. I did, the only thing I did was I used this Stitching with a Housewife striped ribbon and tied the piece, the wood piece, to the wreath. So okay. you have to hold it by this. No, they need to see the, the stitching. That's the most important part. So this is called Cottontail Cross Stitch. Yeah, but I thought it was going to fall off. It's the Cottontail's uh, Cross Stitch Shop, so Spring Cross Stitch Shop. You have all your little thread spools, the two bunnies holding their mounted cross stitch. Super, super cute. So this is the one that is done on Evening Blue uh, Monaco. Mm -hmm. Rit died. We have tutorials. So we have a tutorial on Fat Quarter Shops, October 25th episode. And then we also have tutorials in our tutorial playlist where you can see either coffee dyeing or uh, you can see Rit dyeing. So there you go. The thread spools are all filled in with X's. I explained this on the chart, but I'm just also explaining it here. They're all filled in with the color. And then you do, she said it's called satin stitches. Over um, the top. Over the top to make it look like. Can they see that? Yeah. Is it really close? Yes. Actual thread. And to make it puffier. You used two strands when you did the, t the yes. satin stitches? The, the colors in this are so pretty and it's just so springy. Yeah. Um, colors that we haven't used previously. There's tangerine. Well, we've used them, but not frequently. Tangerine, persimmon was one that, I mean, we've used before, but not super frequently. Yeah. Um, and those are Smyrna's? Yes. So the tails have Smyrna's on them. Oh, and I don't, I don't. I don't know if they're big, because they're big. I just filled in the whole tail but I don't know if that's called something different. Right, I'm it's not, on the chart. It shows I'm not you how really to do it, but. up on my specialty stitch names. I do know satin stitch from my embroidery days. But anyway, those are our three new charts. That wreath was expensive, or it's on sale, or what's the it deal? It was on sale. It was expensive. I remember that. Yeah, it's fifty nine ninety nine. So on sale, forty percent. Mm hmm. So, yeah. But of course, make it your own. Yeah, right. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to go on the door for my basement. And I wanted something really springy and bright. They do have some wreaths that are more white colors with the flowers instead of the bright colors. But I didn't think it was. It didn't fit. Yeah, not for me at least. And then you change from having it on the door to the fence? What do you mean? You hung it on the fence. Well, yeah, I did that for taking pictures. Oh, okay. All right, so those will be released. Your uh, shops will get information today, yeah. which is Friday, so they'll have it by tomorrow when you see this. So if you and do pre orders, and ship out next week. Yes. Yes. Um, is next week the end? Mm-hmm. Oh, so late next week because mm -hmm. we still have a quite a few days in January. Okay, uh, from Creative Carol, we got some bags. She is Creative Carol on Etsy. Creative is with a K. These are her vinyl front bags. So super cute sunflowers, bees, gnomes. and then gnomes on the back. Super, super cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I got some haul that I talked about last week that I really want to show. It came that morning. On oh, your fabric? Yeah. I sent mom a fabric flip through. <laughs> I had to mute it. <laughs> I kept missing the fabric that I wanted to show her, and then I'd go back to find it, and I couldn't find it, and I was just... It's very pretty. It's, it's called homemade. Um, this is the backing fabric that I got for it. Oh, I wanted... and you can see all the colors. Yeah. I got it from Fat Quarter Shop. It's just, it's really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Very springy. It would go perfect with the wreath. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, really, really pretty. Homemade. I'll link it. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome to do. Make one of those rag wreaths. You know where they just like, tie, tie strips of fabric. Oh, there you go. Get a grapevine wreath or one of those just wreath forms. Yeah. And do that. Uh, it's by Riley Blake. 
our question for today is going to be which of the three new charts is your favorite? The the April monthly weigh-in, the cottontail cross stitch, or the welcome home spring? Uh, from Pat Quarter Shop, we got a few new things. Thank you, Kimberly and team. So the I'm not fitting anymore. The first one is <laughs> Hometown Neighborhood Tea House. Then the Lori Holt Stitch Cards. She's on set S. Oh, so these are all like snow themed. Super cute. Couldn't even play in the snow when we got all of, we got a lot of snow. Couldn't even play in it though because the next day it turned to absolute works yeah. of ice. So only that first day was good. And now it's raining. And nasty, yes. so all of it is, we're making sure our sump pumps are working nonstop. Yes. Then the Chicken Club, we are at Henrietta. Super, super cute. We've got some of these to give away today. One of them is from December, December because we weren't shipping many things out. I was on vacation, and, you know, with the holidays, we weren't shipping. Yeah. Okay. Um, those... So we'll give those away today. All these are December, you're thinking? No, oh, the no. December two are December to our... Um, Did you take them out? No. Oh, yours are right there. Yeah. No, yeah. that's mine and yours. Well, there's some right here. What, there's some right here in a box? Mm hmm So those... What? These are all giveaways. So you took half of them out of a box? I didn't take any. These were all sitting on the, the shelf. So do you think two of these are ours? Okay. Um, all right. So, so. we have Let giveaways from last week. Week. The first one is key to my heart. This is a PDF. So you just need to send me your email address and what you want. What you want. Cindy S dash QB 23. Paula rule dash JN 21 X and Kisha Wood 6494. No, ours are in that box where your stuff is now. Then B sweet. This is a sassy stripper. Also a PDF. Tammy Klein, 3801, Lynn Hammond, 2324, and Yolanda Stanfield, 3243. Then we had the bags from Creative Carol, the cute little duffel bags in Priscilla's Pretty Plaids and Priscilla's Polkas, Goldie Fish LS, and High Pocket Stitcher. Then from Fabric Flare... The Snow on Magical Clouds, Ada. This goes to Kim Rohrbach, 36, Valang, 4832, Crystal Reynolds, 120, and Nancy Tool, 9380. Then the Blue Mist fabric, which it reads purpley to me. Um, Bell, 2020, Peggy Lynn Warnett, Holly Rain, 7819, and Jean Ellen Henry, 9020. Yeah, it definitely looks perfect. Yep. Lilac. <clears throat> Maybe on the inside, though, if you open it up, it's more blue, but on the outside, it's purple. It smells so good. From Fat Quarter Shopping Team, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. If you got, this is extra special if you get the one that I sniffed. Uh, Arlene, <laughs> Arlene Curley, Cliff Sheeler, 4012, and Jill Meisenheimer, Meisenheimer, 415. Is anybody going on the like first batch of um, cruising with the icon? We want to know. I've been watching it. There's a dog on board. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have <laughs> Millie's dresses. Millie's dresses, also from Fat Quarter Shop. This is a quilt pattern. Super pretty patterns there too. Um, this goes to Linda Skinner, 5887, Valerie Standridge, Kim Ray, 6752. That we have the moon beam package. This was for their make a wish. This goes to Margaret Wineland, 2165. Just take some tums. Trisha Olson, 6597. <laughs> Just like switch positions and take some tums. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Anything I'd say. Oh, that's interesting. I don't really know why you'd feel like that. <laughs> Okay, well, I Googled it, and I can tell you a few things. Uh, Leslie Gray, 2949. I'm sure they love me now. All right, then Winter Woods. Winter Woods. Oh, I forgot to get the other one. Oh, my goodness. I'm afraid I'm going to catch someone I next to her. I literally, no, I'm not sick. I literally, 
for it? once. Where is it? I literally oh. went back and forth with them on the phone. I don't know, five times because my doctor wasn't in. So she'd have to message my doctor to see what she, I, oh, I was, okay. Winter Woods PDF. So you just send me what you want. All the other ones that I showed something physical, you're going to have to send me your physical address so I can send it to you. Also mail blows Sucks. right now. <laughs> no, I know that the mail carriers are working as hard as possible, etc. I know Mine's that I'm not Facebook. <laughs> But it might take a little while for you to get your stuff because mail is taking a while. Um, Liberty Line Quilts, Amy Dornbush, 8992, and Christine Buckner, 7073. Then Sun Sweetheart Street. These are the Let's Go Ride a Bike series. <laughs> it helps if you have the, the stitching, right? Sweetheart Street. Let's Go Ride a Bike series. T Flocky, 8637, Connie Sam, Lee Hall, and 1925. Um, completed series, 12 parts, one mm -hmm. for each month. Mm -hmm. You can get them in PDF form or physical mm -hmm. chart form. Okay. For our merch madness. Yay. <laughs> um, we had a lot of fun seeing you in your, your merch all decked out. A lot of fun. So random. And now guys. we're going to have a new cup to add to that collection. Yes. 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 I need to, or I think you have my apron because I went to go look for it so I can I do have two. Okay. All right. I was going to order another one. Um, all right. So we have Raquel with the <laughs> guinea, pig. guinea pig in a cup. <laughs> you don't even see it. When you first look at the photo, you I don't even it right see it. right away. No, because you read the comment. You don't see it. You don't see it. I thought it was it. a stuffed one. <laughs> I didn't think it was the real one. I thought it was a stuffed animal. It's in the Stitching with the Housewives Yeti. Just burp. <laughs> uh, and her dog is in the you guys have to go look at just search the hashtag merch madness on in our facebook group you can uh, search for specific things and you can see it there also we use hashtags on the back of our charts for every series or every chart um pc hashtag pc whatever um and you can use that to if people use that hashtag in there to see what they've posted about mm -hmm. it, if they've changed colors if they've done this or done that you know um, a great tool for you. Uh, Maureen Mattel Martello, Jennifer Davis Montgomery, and uh, Bonnie Deering, congratulations. You won $25 to our Etsy shop. So how that works is you pick up $25 worth of PDF charts from our Etsy. Email me what you want, and I send it to you. If you want to wait, you wait. If you want to do it now. But tell her you're waiting. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I can't breathe. Oh, my goodness. Number one for giveaways this week. Are we getting lunch? <laughs> no, I have to go to Burlington. He stinks. <laughs> yeah. Number one, uh, three opportunities to win one of these. Love is in the air. Number one, three opportunities. Aren't they cute? Just little flat things? Yeah. Oh, Piper. She's wearing one of Layla's old sweatshirts and it just makes my heart. Um, number two is three opportunities to win Be My Honey. It's number two. I did the Priscilla's peppermint on the cheeks. Number two. <laughs> number three. We're going to do our new charts because we will have them ready to go by the time that we give them You're away You're very next hopeful. Week. Yes. <laughs> You're very hopeful. Okay. Yes. All right, so first up is three opportunities to win Cottontail Cross Stitch. This is number three. <laughs> number four is three opportunities to win Welcome Home Spring. Woo! Also in the bottom of this, I have stuffed... Um, bubble wrap so that the picks stick out further. Welcome home spring is number four. And number five is the April monthly weigh-in. And like I said, we're going to ask you which of your, which is your favorite out of our three new paper chart releases. Number six is four opportunities to win a sew sampler box. It might be December or it might be January. That's yep. number six from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. Um, the 
things that I brought in here. What else are you doing? I had said I was going to give these a... Be my valentine? Okay, we'll do these next week then. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Because I got to ship this week. Okay. That was what number? Seven? Seven. That was number seven. Okay. Five opportunities to win. Be my valentine. The bigger piece for mm -hmm. a PDF. Okay. Okay. The question you're going to answer is which of the three is your favorite? Yes. So you have April monthly weigh-in. You have Welcome Home Spring. And Cottontail Cross Stitch. So My favorite is Cottontail. Pick your favorite. They're all cute though. Ah! Ah! Piper! It's going to grab that screenshot. I just had the ugliest face and that is what it's going to grab. Can you put the stitching back on here? Yes, I'm <laughs> trying to fix this sign. So, yes. Also, these these are put on with washers and magnets and the, the cotton tail cross stitch, of course, is not. But these are... Oh god, I got my bracelet caught! Take the magnet to the store to be able to figure out what, but I believe it's zinc that uh, we mm -hmm. use. I need to go to Menards and buy some. That's the cheapest that I can find them is at Menards. I gotta straighten this out. Once you get your, your pieces set and you put them in the area that they're gonna stay in your house, they don't move. But being that we have to move them around to show them to you, then they move. Yes. Unless you were to use like those rare earth magnets, but those are really expensive and I'm not even sure where to get them. They have a website, I think. And I think some cross stitch shops even started carrying them. Um, the question from last week on Facebook, there was a lot of people asking. You can put that one down. I just want to housekeep real quick. For that galvanized container, that was for the sayings of the season. Uh, so that is the new quarterly, quarterly club, club at that quarter, quarter shop, shop. Uh, replacing the seasons of stitching. Mm -hmm. The cottontail cross stitch was what we showed you. That's not part of a club. That's just a release for next yes. month. Yes. Yes. So you, next week, this will start shipping to shops. So you'll be able to buy the paper charts next week. Yep. It will not be in our Etsy shop until March. Yep. And then family that has been on a lot of people's minds as well. That one goes into the a PDF form uh, beginning of next month. Mm-hmm. All right, so you know what question to answer. You just list out the numbers that you're interested in winning. You answer the question. You don't say subscriber. You don't say or you don't say giveaway. You yeah, don't you say free. To... You need to be a subscriber. Yes. Like the video, um, and then just comment below. Follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Lane at Chelsea three five six Priscilla's two thousand on Facebook and Priscilla's two thousand at Blogspot .com, where you can see more of everything that we do. And yes, I still need to post the recipes. And no, I have not done it. <laughs> I'm going to do a bump date because I didn't last week. Looks and if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. Um, yeah. yeah, she's in there. Yep. Yep. Take a Tums. Just take a Tums. Mm. We appreciate you spending your time with us. We hope that you have a great weekend, get some stitching in. And then again, your shops will have this information so that they can, that if they take pre-orders, you can start doing pre-orders now. Okay. Right. Yeah. And you'll start posting the blog posts about each individually. So you can yes. see the colors that are used. If you wanted to do a floss order, your shops also get that information. If you wanted to just ask them, you mm -hmm. could do that as well. Okay. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.